What's this, Sean? Throughout the morning, Vicky Cicliano was doing activities with her three-year-old son, Sean. I try to bring it into something that's not just sit and play with, but sit and learn, you know? And, and that's just what I can do because I sit a lot. Vicky was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2007, a condition where an overactive immune system attacks the brain, spinal cord, and optic nerves. Vicky's mom, Debbie Smith, told me in the kitchen after our interview she was in denial when she first heard her daughter had MS. You start to think, what did I do? You know, is it me? Did I not take care when I was, you know, pregnant with her? Is it something genetic that I don't know about? She has something called primary progressive MS. Only 10% of people have it. Dr. Florian Thomas says for those patients, there wasn't a treatment available to slow down the disease progression until last year when the FDA approved the first one called Ocrevus. There are different approaches to calming down this overactive immune system. Ocrevus does this by uh, eliminating a certain type of white blood cell, uh, a lymphocyte. Dr. Thomas says the attraction of this treatment is it's a twice a year infusion, which is compatible with an active lifestyle like Vicky's. <laughs> we have a lot of fun on the floor. She had the two half doses and then she just had the full uh, treatment last time. And she can stand longer, I know that. When we take him to the little gym, she used to have to sit on a chair. She doesn't do that anymore. She stands there with her crutches, but she stands there. But Dr. Thomas says the more effective a treatment, the more risk a patient will have from activity. And Ocrevus is an aggressive treatment. Now that we have over 15 medications for multiple sclerosis, we can uh, tailor a medication to a person's individual needs. These needs uh, are impacted by th their perception of risk versus benefit. And when you have a three-year-old, it is not his fault that he was born into this, right? So I need to make his environment as positive as I can. Physically being able to lift him and walk with him is impossible for me. But I can lay on the floor with him all day. Like I can, he can roll over me and we do uh, ho pony rides, pony rides. <laughs> 2008, I retired, and we bought this house together, and I'm downstairs on the ground floor. I'm, I'm not down on the floor with him, but I will take him, and when he needs it, I will hold him and walk with him. She's a huge help. I can't do this without her. Dr. Thomas says there are still many things about MS that we don't fully understand yet, but... I think any of the medications that uh, have been introduced in the, in the last uh, 15 years um, have raised the bar further in terms of efficacy and I think I'm much more comfortable uh, that many of my patients will reach the goal of dancing at their grandchild's wedding in 2018 than I was uh, 20 years ago. Three-year-old Sean is helping his mom Vicky Cicliano to get there. Sean seems to sense sometimes that she needs a little extra hug or something and, and he'll come over. He's a really, really smart little Little boy. In Wayne, Leah Mishkin, NJTV News.